Hi Heathens! So today's video is going to be the June 2019 Allure Beauty Box unboxing and potential try on depending on what's in here. So last month there was a different type of bag. So I'm wondering if this month is going to go back to the snap clothes or the little slidey clothes that last month had. So let's just get on in. So up top, whoop, there's the little booklet that tells you what's coming in the box. There's a little summer glow glide, summer glow guide with exclusive offers for Allure Beauty Box members. Then this month's box bag is like neon green and I love it. So the first thing in here is on top outside of the bag. It is a Salon Graphics The Do It All 3-in-1 Dry Texture Spray. It gives volume, refreshes, and hold. It says dry shampoo meets hairspray, which is something I'm always up for. So since I've been at work all day, and I'm sure my hair could use a little refresh. We're gonna give it a go. Ignore the uh, bit where you can tell where my hairband was in it. We're just gonna zhuzh my hair. Okay, a little bit. I'm going to see how it sprays first off. Do you have to shake it? Directions, shake well, hold can eight to 10 inches from dry hair. Spray, focusing on roots, massage hair. Mm. Massage through hair with fingertips to absorb oil evenly. Tussle for extra volume and movement. Give hair a final spray for a brushable hold and finish. So it says shake thoroughly. So we're going to shake thoroughly. And then hold eight to 10 inches. I'm gonna spray maybe right up here in my roots. And then I'm gonna flip my hair back over. I mean, I guess it did a little something. My hair doesn't look oily. Doesn't appear to be any like white cast. I don't know. I'm gonna need to try it out a few more times. Maybe with a little updo, see what happens. But I mean, it smells pretty good. I like the smell of it. I'd use it just for the smell alone. So I'm gonna, I guess, wear my hair down the rest of this video and see if it looks nice and voluminous in that part, aside from the craziness of it. So then in the actual bag we have quite a number of things also in here. So the thing on top is Context Vitamin C All Day Eye Cream. Does not have any directions on it but we are going to see what it feels like, what it smells like. I'm going to put just a teeny drop on the back of my hand. Could use a little bit of eye cream. Haven't found one that like really blows me away, but I still like using them. So it's just a little white gel cream. Doesn't have much of a smell, which is kind of sad. I was hoping since it's vitamin C that it would be kind of citrusy. I mean, it feels fine. It absorbs really well doesn't leave my hand like super shiny like some products do. Next thing, I'm gonna grab this little side thing. It is from Moroccan Oil. It's a Moroccan Oil treatment for all hair types. Uh, to use, apply a small amount throughout damp or dry hair style as usual. Okay. So I'm not sure exactly what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on Moroccan oil, but that's cool. 
Then we have another big thing. It's U Thermale Avine. Uh, please tell me how to say that because I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Thermal spring water, soothing, softening for all skin types. Is it water in an aerosol? Because the top and the feel of it definitely come across like an aerosol can, but it's got some directions up in here and it's actually wrapped in plastic. So, it's got this teeny little booklet that came in it. Yeah, yes it does. Um, uh, it just says everyday thermal water. Um, it's got some pictures of usage. It says daily care to complete makeup removal, after hair removal, after shaving, diaper rash, facial redness. Uh, itching, post-procedure care, after exercising, while traveling, and during the summer. So this is evidently the do-it-all thermal spring water. On here it says a whole lot not in English. There's not a lot of English on here. So, since I saw the pictures, I don't see anywhere on here that it says to shake it, but we're going to spray it. Oh, it's a nice little mist. It's summer, so we're going to see if it feels soothing. I mean, that is pretty nice. It's a nice, like, light airy mist and I think especially if you had like a little fan which I sadly do not have that it would feel really good I mean I just started working out again so I think it would be kind of nice to like take in my gym bag or something and just kind of spritz on myself when I'm leaving so that I don't feel as muggy and sweaty maybe that's just me I don't know I really want to grab this thing on the bottom real quick because I saw the brand and I'm super interested. So this is from the Brow Gal and it is the Pencil Medium Brown 04. So on this end, it has a spoolie and on this end, it has not only the pencil, but it also comes with a sharpener on the tip which is really cool so I'm gonna see what it looks like the color on the back of my hand I mean that's really light which is good because my eyebrows are a mix between like brown and red so I don't know if you can tell but I do have a little bit filled in already but I'm gonna go ahead and take this on this side at least and see if I can just draw some little, little lines, fill in a little more, because from that little bit that I just did, it actually looks like it's going to match my natural brow hair color pretty, pretty darn close, actually. Sometimes when I get browns, they're too dark. And then when I get reds or auburns, they're just a little too much because my brow hair is not actually red. So, don't mind the fact that I'm not the best at drawing in my brows. So this is my normal one with the e.l.f. taupe brow pencil. And then this is with that and this. I gotta say, 
I mean, it definitely brings a little definition to my brow that I'm not used to. I feel kind of serious. Also kind of silly because I'm only going to do one, but that is definitely going in my to use pile. That eyebrow is serious. Then last but not least, we have floss. Ah, my floss, my new favorite lip gloss. And mine is in the shade Yule. So thankfully I don't have anything on my lips right now. So it's a good time to test this out. Oh, I was not expecting that packaging. I don't know why. So this is the neat packaging. It's a little tube. And it's got like a, in the tube, like a pinky purple tint to it. But I'm not sure how that translates onto the lips. It smells really good. So before, probably super chapped, sorry. Ooh. Feels really nice. So it, the color doesn't doesn't translate too much. Maybe if you put it over a color, it might give it a more pinky purple hue. But it's just a nice gloss. It's not it's not sticky. It smells really good. And it feels super smooth. So that is everything. So, holy crap. Uh, the full size of the Moroccan oil, I opened to the middle of the book. Uh, but the full size of this is $44. Jeez. All right. So the Brow Gal eyebrow pencil is $23, which to me is a lot for an eyebrow pencil because I don't use one a lot, but honestly, this is a really good size pencil. So for how well it matches me and depending on how long this lasts me, it might be worth it. Just saying. Uh, the Moroccan oil, we talked about that. The thermal spring water is $18.50. Kind of pricey for some water. The floss, a lip gloss, is $16. And the context eye cream is $35. This better do some impressive stuff for my dark circles and bags. I'm just saying. Let's see. It says that she loves using it for midday touch ups. Um, yeah, it's just kind of giving you an idea of what it does. And then I guess this is a new product because it says SGX presents the do it all. Um, and it does not have a price on the back of the booklet. So I guess this is just a little bonus item. Maybe it hasn't been released yet. That's pretty cool. Either way, uh, the retail value of everything in here is pretty good. And they gave like, I'm gonna have to go back and look at the other boxes and see if that's how they do it. But there's like one thing from each category. Um, makeup is the eyebrow pencil, hair is the Moroccan oil, skin is the thermal water. Oh no, cause they're, <laughs> I'm stupid, ignore me. There's two skin and two makeup. Um, anyway, so I, I'm happy with everything. The only thing I'm kind of not even iffy about, but I'm just unsure about because I don't know much about it, is the Moroccan oil. I'm assuming that it's... Ooh. It smells pretty good. I'm assuming it's to, like, help with smoothness or like anti-frizz or something like that, but I could be completely wrong. Don't quote me. Overall, I have to say, 
I am pleased with this month and really love the color of the bag. Just so cute. So let me know what y'all thought down below and I don't think there were any variations this time. Let me know if you somehow got something different. Maybe there were different colors of the eyebrow pencil. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Helps me decide what content y'all like the most. And if you're interested in seeing more of me, please subscribe and I will see y'all at my next video. Bye!